what makes us different is that we give the player the time to think on how he wants to act. And then the game reacts to however the player is playing. So our game is not scripted. 90-95% uh, of our game is based on AI. Uh, our AI is actually really smart because um, it uh, reacts to the threat that it, uh, that it spots. So usually in other shooters you're, you're, you're walking around with teammates and they get spotted and you get shot at because they got spotted but you're hiding. So it kind of makes no sense. Our, our AI will focus their fire on and their reaction on the threat they, uh, they spotted. So if one of your teammates gets spotted, your the AI of the enemies will uh, get to cover, will try to flank him, uh, and will not react to you until they have seen you. So if you take part in the shooting, obviously they'll shoot back, but until they haven't spotted you, they will not react to you. One of the core things is we worked on, we worked really hard on, on the camera. So the animation, we've got two, more than 2,500 different animations uh, on our main character, most of which has been on, on, on uh, with motion capture on, on real Navy SEALs. And uh, so this def definitely helps because you really feel like you really feel like you're, you're, you're a predator. So that definitely give some depth to the character. Then there's the camera, which is really important and gives some dynamics to, to, to the action. So when your character is running, the camera is shaking behind him. Uh, when you're suppressed, for, uh, when you're, you're suppressed and being pinned down by a heavy machine gun, the camera zooms in and starts shaking. So it's really about um, understanding that the, the that in third-person shooter you have that main character, which is the the pillar of the experience. He is he is the guy through which the player has that experience. So you really need to work on make him believable. We've definitely worked cl closely with Special Forces on all the aspects of the game. Now the great thing is that we, we work with uh, Red Storm Entertainment on, on the development of this game. They, are, they work on the adversarial. Red Storm is the home, the home studio of all the Tom Clancy franchises and has been uh, founded by Tom Clancy. When he founded the studio, he brought with him uh, connections to uh, weapon manufacturers, uh, Special Forces soldiers, uh, research facilities and all that stuff. So, and, and Red Storm has nurtured those, those uh, relationships. So we still have very, very close relationships relationships with, uh, with soldiers, so um, this allowed us to, to really get um, them to open up to us and tell us stories sorry, about their everyday life, how it feels like to be a special forces soldier. Future soldier doesn't happen in the future. It is, well, it, it is the future, but it's a close future. It's close enough so that everything we have in the game is believable, and uh, so that also makes sense and from a gameplay perspective. Everything you see in the game is anticipation it's not science fiction none of it is invented from uh, from pure from 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 nothing uh, we have again red storm has close relationship with soldiers but also with weapon manufacturers and weapon research facilities the drone you see is actually uh, in development some of the drones you see today are actually even better than have more capabilities than the one we have uh, that optical camo is being worked on in various universities and, and weapon uh, weapon research uh, facilities the intel grenade as well it's based on a, it's based on a technology that's close to connect it's actually um, uh, body shape recognition Kinect does that for 150 euros in your dollars in your in your uh, in your living room. I mean, imagine what you can do with two billion dollars or ten billion dollars in, in in research equipment, right? The augmented reality as well. Uh, that information sharing between the between the soldiers on the battlefield. It's actually funny because four or five years from back back uh, we we were already working on, on augmented reality and we got feedback from players saying yeah this is just science fiction this is ridiculous and uh, now you have it on your iPhone or close not obviously as developed but you have augmented reality on your iPhone so if you shoot too many civilians in the game uh, you actually get a uh, you get a game over it's that simple and you restart from the last checkpoint they're definitely really important in the experience we've integrated them in the game they're really they're sig a significant part of the of the gaming experience they are uh, you have to mind them just like regular special forces do, and so yeah, it was it was a challenge because we had to do some 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 animation on them. We had to do some AI. We, we there was definitely some work around the civilian, but since it gives a more deep experience and goes uh, more into the realism of what it's like to be a real special forces soldier, we we definitely took the job. <laughs>